Now we are going to see the integrated rate equation and half life of zero order reaction. Integrated, first let's see the integrated rate equation for a zero order reaction. Integrated rate equation for zero order reaction. Now, we know the expression for rate low is rate is equal to K into concentration of A raised to X into concentration of B raised to Y. Now, we can write the differential rate equation for this expression. The differential rate equation is written as minus dr by dt is equal to k into a raised to x into b raised to y. Now, we can integrate this differential rate equation which gives us a relationship between the rate constant k and concentration of the reactant at different time. So, this integrated rate equation means it is the integration of the differential rate equation and finally, we get an expression between rate constant and concentration of reactant at different time or at time t. So, first we are going to derive an expression to find the rate constant for a zero order reaction. So, let us start the derivation. Consider the reaction R giving P. Now, the differential rate equation for this R giving P can be written as minus dr by dt is equal to k into concentration of R raised to 0. It is raised to 0 because we are deriving for a zero order reaction. The order is zero. Now, we can write this as minus dr by dt is equal to k or I am going to write this as dr is equal to minus k dt. Now, next step is integrating this expression. So, next is integrating both sides of this expression. Now, dr, integral dr is r. So, concentration of r is equal to minus k. k is a constant, there is rate constant and integral dt is t. So, minus kt plus i where i is called constant of integration. And I gave that expression concentration of r is equal to minus kt plus i as uh, equation number 1. Now, we have to find an expression for i. i is the constant of integration. For that, at time t is equal to 0, we have concentration of R is equal to R0, where R0 is the initial concentration of the reactant. At time t is equal to 0 means the reaction has not started. So, we have the concentration at time t is equal to 0 as R0, that is the initial concentration of the reactant. Now, substituting this in the expression 1, we have concentration of R0 is equal to minus k into 0 plus i because when R is equal to R0, t is equal to 0 and plus i. So, from this I will get the expression for i that is i is equal to R0. Now, you substitute i in equation number 1. So, when you substitute, you get the expression as concentration of R is equal to minus kt plus i is equal to R0 plus R0. 
now from this kt is equal to r0 minus r or we can write the expression for the constant k is equal to r0 minus r divided by t so this is the expression for rate constant of a zero order reaction that is k is equal to r0 minus r divided by t where r0 k is the rate constant r0 is the initial concentration of the reactant minus r is the concentration of the reactant at time t and t is the time now let's see the graph for zero order reaction we have three graph for zero order reaction so let's see the graphs graph Now the first graph is we know that uh, for a zero order reaction the rate of a reaction is independent of the concentration of reactant because we know that for zero order reaction rate is equal to k into concentration of reactant raised to zero so rate of a reaction is equal to rate constant which means for zero order reaction the rate of a reaction is independent of the concentration of reactant so when we plot a graph between the rate of a reaction against concentration of reactant let's see how the nature of the graph so the graph is plotted between rate of a reaction and the concentration of reactant and this is zero order reaction and we know for zero order reaction rate is equal to rate constant which means the rate of the reaction is independent of the concentration of the reactant so in this case the graph will be a straight line parallel to x axis like this means the rate of the reaction is independent of the concentration of reactant so this is our first graph now the second graph for zero order reaction is number 2 second graph is when you plot a uh, concentration of r against time what is the nature of the graph that is a uh, variation of uh, reactant concentration of reactant with time what is the nature of the graph for that this is the graph of or plot of concentration of r against time now here we have to consider the equation concentration of r is equal to minus kt plus r0 now this expression is uh, from the derivation uh, we substituted for i is equal to r0 and we got this expression that is this expression so here you can see that this uh, expression can be compared with the equation of a straight line that is y is equal to mx plus c so the graph is plotted between concentration of r against time so i am going to plot the graph concentration of r against time and you can see that we get a straight line graph with slope is equal to minus q so the slope is a negative slope so the graph will be like this and the slope of the graph is equal to minus k and intercept is equal to r0 so this is our second graph that is plot of concentration of r against time from the expression r is equal to minus kt plus r0 now next we have one more graph that is graph number 3 that is this graph is between plot of r not minus r versus time now we know the expression for rate constant k is equal to r0 minus r by t so we know that 
the plot graph is between r0 minus r against t or we can say kt is equal to r0 minus r. So, they are directly proportional. So, when you plot a graph between r0 minus r against time, you get a straight line passing through the origin. So, this is the nature of the graph. So, these are the three graph for zero order reaction. Now, next let us see half life of a zero order reaction. So, the next heading is half life. Half life of zero order reaction. Now, what do you mean by the term half life of a reaction? Half life of a reaction is the time in which the concentration of reactant is reduced to one half of its initial concentration and half life is denoted as T half. So, this is the time in which the concentration of reactant is reduced to one half of its initial concentration. Now, let us find an expression to get uh, to find the half life of zero order reaction. So, we will start the derivation from the expression of rate constant for zero order reaction. We know the expression for rate constant is k is equal to r 0 minus r by t. Now, at t is equal to t half, we have r is equal to r 0 by 2. So, substituting r is equal to r 0 by 2 in the expression for rate constant k, we have r 0 minus r 0 by 2 divided by t or now here in the numerator we have 2 r 0 minus r 0 that is again r 0 by 2. So, we have t half and here instead of t you have to write t half. So, we have t half is equal to 1 by k into r 0 by 2 or you can say t half is equal to r 0 divided by 2 k. This is the expression to find half life of a zero order reaction. T half is equal to R0 divided by 2k. So, if you look at this expression, you can say that the half life of a zero order reaction is directly proportional to the initial concentration of the reactant and inversely proportional to the rate constant k. So, this is the expression to find the half life for a zero order reaction. Thank you.